All right, hey, Josh, you're out here in uh, Urine County, actually. Early stages, 32 by 48. These guys are setting the trusses here today. And, but in this video, I wanna share with you what we do as far as, um, what we do as far as our fasteners, and then also kind of give you an idea of our rubber quality, and also what we do as far as staggering here. But I just wanna share with you, we use a galvanized nail right here, okay? And again, this is 1650 lumber. And we talked about that, but if you're watching this video for the first time or this one you land on, but 1650 versus a two grade, two grade specs out to about 1,100. This is 1650, which is stress test is about 500 basis points stronger than a two grade. But you can see how we stagger that. Again, this is a galvanized nail. All right, so it doesn't back out on you. And then as far as up on the trusses, or actually when we set it up on the top beam header, we use an RSS bolt, okay? So if I pan up there, see that right up there? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you should be able to see that. But right there's an RSS bolt. Now, on the skirt board, we use a two by 10 skirt board. Now it depends on the application. Sometimes, if we need to build it up, obviously we'll do a two by eight tongue and groove, but I see a lot of, and you'll see this too, if you're getting estimates, you'll see a two by eight tongue and groove um, baseboard, or maybe even just one and so forth. But this is actually a number one grade, okay? And this is actually 0.6, so that's the treatment factor on it. But what it is is the ground contact So, and you need that obviously on the skirt board on a, on a post frame building. And you can see we're using three ply laminated columns. We talked about this at length, but again, these are popular choices. Again, given the cost structure, very rarely do we use a four by six. Occasionally we use a six by six in a smaller building that's in the 20 foot width range or whatever, but this is a 32 by 48. But the beauty about a, a three ply laminated column, and again, if this is the first time watching a video, one of our videos, again, three different pressure points, two by six, yellow ply glue laminated together. You can see how it's finger jointed right there. And then there's a pressure point right there. And then there's also a pressure point right there as well. So 30% stronger than six by six. And again, it's, it's not, you know, six by six is a, is a, is a piece of, is, 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 is a piece of a tree. So it's gonna naturally twist and warp. But this right here, it's gonna stay truer as far as the straightness. So that's something to consider. All right, when you get your quotes, when you get your estimates. All right, so that's the three ply laminated columns. And in some other videos, we talked about concrete permit columns, what set brackets, and so forth. But that kind of gives you an idea where we're at here today. And we'll keep you up to breath or keep up to date as this progress progresses. So there you go. And you can see a pretty good level site here. So this week, so 32 by 48. Old bar post frame building right here in Huron County.